Hey everyone, and welcome back to another amazing video. We're gonna be covering Fortnite Creative Publishing for Fortnite Creative 1.0 today. They did change the publishing about a month ago, and I know some people still had some questions about it. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my island right here. This is the first Battle Royale map I've ever created, and I still update my maps on the regular to make sure they are up to date and playing correctly. Before I started recording, I made a few changes to this map just to make sure performance is good. So I am gonna go ahead and publish those changes now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to my island, you're gonna head over to tools, and you're gonna hit the publish button. Now, if you're familiar from the old Fortnite Creative 1.0, at this point, you would be going to a website, clicking one button, and you're done. It did get a little bit more complicated than that. So let me show you how. So once we have published our map, we would go to a website called create.fortnite.com. When we're in create.fortnite.com, you're gonna be presented with a few options here, but really what we're here for is publishing. So we're gonna to go to projects. Under projects, we're gonna load into all the maps we own, and then the easiest way to find your map is just to type in a keyword to the map you're looking for. This is the map I want right here. So this is the map I just pushed out. We just made a change. So what you may need to do is before you do anything else, if this is not the first time you've published the map, sometimes it's easy to copy and paste the title here before going to private versions and I'll show you why. There are times where it will rename your island to a short term or something else. And so it's just easy to go ahead and copy paste or you could just type it back out from what it says up there. But basically you wanna make sure your title's correct. You can go through here, make any changes you need to Make sure your thumbnail is still correct. But if this is your first time publishing, anything with the red asterisk does need to be filled out. So the island title, the island description, the island tags are required. So you have to choose up to four tags. An island image is required. This is just a screenshot in replay mode of the island. Or you can hire an artist to do a thumbnail for you or you can create your own. Then you have to put in some instructions of basically how does your game work. When you're all done with that, you're gonna go ahead and hit whether you want this to release to the community automatically. If you turn this off, you're gonna to have to push it manually yourself later. However, there is a bug right now, at least at the time of this recording, where no matter if you turn this off or on, it will not automatically release the island code. When you're all set, you're gonna hit submit for publishing. You're gonna see here it is now submitted and in review. So we're gonna wait for that to get approved by Epic. All right, you're gonna get an email from Epic Games saying that your map was approved or declined. Most likely it will be approved as long as you are not putting any intellectual property, you're not putting any kind of um, vulgar or you're not breaking any TOS of any kind. So once you've done all of those things and you get approved, you'll see here what should have happened is this one should have automatically just become active, but it's still inactive. That's a bug at the time of this recording but I chose for it to be active, it just didn't do it. If you notice it did not become active after getting the approval email, all you have to do is go over here and hit make active version. That now means that within the next 10 minutes, this map is going to be the new live version. And yes, it can take up to 10 minutes after you hit make active to become the live version. That will now take place. Now, let's say you made a horrible mistake, there's a big bug in this island, and you just wanna revert it uh, you can always go back to the previous by just clicking here and say make active version. Now it's saying, wait a minute, if you roll back an active version, this can cause issues. If you have player save data, this can break that player save data, etc. Now, because I do have player save data on this particular map, I am not going to do this. But if you hit continue, the green light would then show up on the second map there. And that's really good if you're in a situation where your map is so broken compared to the previous version that it's not worth losing your fan base over the next couple days while you're trying to fix it. So I do like being able to roll back to an older version if something catastrophic happens or there's a big enough bug that merits you rolling back. So hopefully this helps. The only thing that would cause concern rolling back would be if you have a save device active. It could screw things up on that save device if people joined the most active version and made some save changes. That's about it. You can still roll back. 
just anything they did in that session would just not save. So hopefully this helps. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. And until next time, take care.